Hello and welcome to the second video of the cloth that's run. I just realized, uh, and I should probably edit it in in the description, that in my previous video I did not have, uh, I wasn't even talking in my video, I was trying to explain uh, my runs and what I did. But uh, I guess we can recap of what we have done then. So in the first video we did uh, double daily runs. I obviously was planning on just going around playing naked and obviously we have a lot of things that are uh, transferred over. Uh, you can obviously get them by buying them yourself in the marketplace. But uh, in Dalbo we have roughly 10 to 11 buildings, small buildings with boss rush, uh, bosses that you can do. Uh, as shown in the previous video we did those. We almost got to level 5. So what I did is I went to Artbrook this time and did a few things and got to level 5. Artbrook has three buildings that you can do, that's uh, small buildings, because I want to complete Artbrook first and then head to Coopertown, which is a lot more buildings there. So that's about eight buildings that you can do bosses. So we're continuing on uh, doing what we do. Um, obviously we are spending a little bit more time on updating things so we're gonna be bringing all our ammo with us because we don't have time to stock them up later on uh, we are gonna have all the weapons with us but we are gonna replace our wrench because we replaced it with a crowbar it deals more damage than the wrench now which is 3.5 on body and 2.5 more damage on surprise attack uh, which is what we need uh, we got now access to 556 five, weapon, which is Scout or the Greening SLR uh, or GLR. And then we can remove the Satori weapon because we got the Washington, which is the same damage, but it has five, uh, two more uh, bullets in the or shells in the clip size. So that's the only thing that changed out, and obviously got us uh, rear speed 6. So with rear speed 6, I won't be using 32 ACP pistols. I will be using 9mm rounds instead. So anything that I find with a 32 ACP, I'm going to sell that to the market, make profit of it, and then buy 9mm or find 9mm bullets for my Speed 6. As for quest items, we're ignoring them. Uh, we're doing boss daily boss runs from now as a new character. So we're looking a little bit more badass. We've got the... Uh, Obviously, going around naked, we got a chest, Winchester shotgun, or Washington. So Washington is more of the uh, Remington, I would assume. And then uh, we got the Scout sniper rifle for uh, a little bit more safety when we run out of uh, shells. So we're, what we're going to do now is we're going to go for the backside. So shop and go, I did this earlier to get to level 5, small building. We're going to go for the backside, which is the captain's table. And then we're going to do the side way here, or on the front side, where it has the uh, front shop, which is also a small building. So we did, uh, we did have enough loot here, I believe. And before I went back, uh, we also got the key, so we're going to head to the boss room. Unequip our... Melee, because we're not using that at all. Actually, uh, since we have so much weapon on us, or ammo, I'm gonna, I'm gonna showcase something, which I tried to mention in the previous video, but now that I realize, um, now that I realize that my microphone was muted the whole time, I did not have the push and talk button. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to sneak attack and with that I'm going to get a free damage of 17 of the boss. And then from now on, we're going to blast the zombie. Take it easy, she vomits. That's the only new ability they have. They also have a little bit more status effect I guess as a boss. Uh, this one is infected, so it will give me bacteria uh, thingy, but it can vomit, it can sprint. That's the only difference at level 5 versus level 1. And it's dead. 
So we used up four shells, or five shells, on the uh, boss. Fairly simple. We did get one surprise attack, which is 17 damage. That equals about uh, one shotgun shell to the head. Should be easier now with the crowbar to melee the zombies. There we go. So with the crowbar of dealing 3.5 damage on normal hits, we would usually be able to two hits after they get knocked down to one shot the zombies and with the uh, increased damage of surprise attack to 17.5 that usually means a one shot on any zombie at all uh, at this level um, the boots that we got was pretty bad so we're not gonna equip that we are however gonna be using up our food because we're running low and we still have a lot of medic kits that we can use I could kill these zombies, for example, to get more XP, but uh, I'm trying to make a shorter video in comparison to the previous video, because right now we're going to need uh, 3k XP, uh, which is not going to be enough for us to get within the uh, uh, within the level 5 zone. So I'm just going to showcase the level 5 zones where we do all the uh, small buildings for the bosses, and then... I guess we can call it a day. Something we can do on the side advice or off stream or uh, off recording is that you can all Since we are going a clean run of not doing any apartment buildings, we are just gonna do the small buildings and loot them as well, because why not? And that should be it. That's a small key room with the boss, not ready yet for it. Getting lots of food here, which we don't need. So since there's two bodies, we're going for the kills here. Make sure to kill them on the floor, and if there's any extra uh, worms that spawns now at level 5, you want to make sure to kill them as well. And they usually shine uh, on the floor. So going with the skill build here, uh, since this is going to be a series of me playing with a naked character from scratch, um, we're going with stealth level 1 for the surprise attack, and that's going to be really necessary for us to do uh, everything solo. Uh, getting that surprise attack is like literally a headshot, uh, so you get a free headshot basically by just sneaking and uh, zombies won't notice you. You can get free hits without wasting any bullets. Really important to have stealth 1 for that. Uh, reloading is something I'm going to be needing a lot more because I want to reload faster between my battles against mutants or bosses. And obviously I have more, a little bit more walking speed when I do that. Um, marksman is something I'm spending on because uh, I will be using both rifles and shotgun in this build. So I couldn't pick an expert uh, weapon yet, so I went with marksman instead. Sprinter is obviously something you're going to max out no matter what. Uh, you're gonna need an extra burst and once we cap these three abilities uh, or s skills uh, I think the last skill 
bef- when you when you pick at level fifteen to twenty, since we already picked one stealth, the rest of it should either go to a weapon expert if you're planning on spending on playing on only one weapon, or go to jogger. So jogger is gonna help me with this uh, clothless run where I don't have any clothes. I want to give any benefits for anything like you know the walking speed, or anything extra stats. So the only extra stats I can get to keep myself alive would be jogger. So jogger will give me um, it will give me enough speed to you know walk around like this uh, without being attacked by the boss if they're chasing me. So that's the key key thing here with this naked build. Uh, let's see, we have 21 shells, that's enough. It, it took us 5 shells to kill a boss, so we're gonna use... We're gonna use the sneak attack in our advance, advantage to get the kill, but I think the boss already noticed us. Yeah. So if the boss notices us, we're gonna just reset it. And now we're probably gonna try to aim for the. Let's see. We're gonna try to go for the. Uh, no, no, no. I guess we're not getting the uh, sneak attack at all on the boss. That means we we just gotta have to spend a little bit more bullets or shells on the boss. And we do not want to get close because of the swarm or the flies, because that will deal damage to us. And that's six bullets. So since I didn't use the sneak attack with the um, crowbar or with the uh, wrench, we are gonna be having, or we're gonna need to use another headshot on the boss. Okay. So that makes us lose one extra bullet. we're in the level 5 zone, they are having a little bit more health, so make sure to always attack them while they're on the floor as well, because you can get a free hit on the floor, and then the second hit should kill them. Something I need to do as well, I need to close down my uh, blinds of the window because I'm getting blinded right now, I can't see a shit. Even though it looks pretty normal for you guys, it's uh, yeah, it's bothering me quite a bit. Zombies in the room, we're gonna use one antibiotic. And the reason for that is because we have a stack of it, or a duplicate of it. So we're using that, recover to 95 and we should keep the remaining in case we get debuffed, but otherwise I'll be using Burns Kit, because there aren't many zombies that are burning. Uh, so, oh, at least at this level. So that's the next item that we'll be using, and save up bandages and antibiotics, and painkillers for now. We are going to need to use orange juice soon, and we do need to stock up or uh, store our items. Another way to farm zombies, you can always re-enter the boss room and there will be zombies respawning in them. Uh, so that's a good way to farm some zombies, but that's not the best way to level up. So now that I closed on the blinds, we got Dylan's E3, we got Shop and Go, we got the uh, 
captain's table. I don't think there's anything else left in uh, Artbrook. So there's a medical center here. There's core media over there. Apartments on the back side, and there's zero uh, small buildings on the back side. So I guess we're done with Artbrook, even though I only showcased two of them. Uh, like I said, if you have an OCD of clearing out specific towns, uh, like if you think about it, oh, I've done bosses in this town, this town, etc. When you try to remember on the travel, then obviously we finished Dalbo in the first video. We've done Artbrook. This is only three buildings that are small. And then now we can head to Cooper Town, which is the next level 5 zone, but that one has a little bit more buildings to go through. So what we're going to do now is we're going to store these items so we can sell later, have enough inventory slots to use uh, our other stuff. So we do have one player here, but yeah. Travel Shack, uh, it might sound like it's a um, small building, uh, and of course if we do find fuel on the street, we might as well place it back to the car before we head into the house, because we're gonna regret that later on if we don't have enough inventory space. Uh, Travel Shack sounds like it's a small building, but it's actually a large building. Um, so we're not going to bother with that. These apartments is going to be done, obviously, level 5, each one of them. So that's 3. And then we're going to get the uh, side building. Oh, laggy. We're going to get the temple direct here, which is on the side building. We're also going to get the grill house, right, which is right in front of us. And we also got a quest for today, but... We're going to do the grill house, we're going to do the queen's arms. Uh, so, let's see. Grill house, yeah. We got the shop and go, queen's arms. And uh, we got most tavern on the back. So, this is uh, three buildings plus two, that's uh, five buildings. And we're also going to have something on the front, I believe. This one is going to... Let's see. This is going to be the uh, sushi store, I believe, yeah. So that's uh, six buildings plus three. That's uh, nine buildings that we can go through. And then tenth building is the pop shop. And then eleventh building is the pennies cafe. So that's, yeah. 11 buildings in Cooperton, so this is why I kind of save Cooperton as the last building, or last uh, level 5 zone. Uh, you only have 3 in Artbrook, and if you have quests over there, you can always do quests. But uh, since I don't want to do the large buildings uh, right now, I'm just going to do small buildings. I'm clearing out uh, all the small buildings first. I can sneak up on this guy get the kill and this means next time we're gonna head out over here there's not gonna be any zombies anymore lingering and that usually uh, bothers me when there's always gonna be the same zombie over and over standing on the same spot I just wanna clear them out get it done um, right. start off with buildings or doors on the bottom floor I would have gone for the fat zombie, but I did not notice it. Uh, fat zombie is usually the one you go for first, get that uh, backstab on them, because uh, you don't want to hit them for what? We're skipping out on candy because I don't feel like it's worth looting candy at that point. We have enough. Uh, energy. A 
zombie came in, but that's fine. Got the old key. Very nice. And we got the energy drink. So it's a fat zombie. It vomited at once, so that's pretty DPS. We did get hit though. So this is where we start to use up the burns kit. And we also got an additional one uh, to heal us up in the meantime. Right. Big guy. Right. Get vomited to the face. So There's a worm behind me. And this is a decoy. Always aim down. And always use right click with your melee. That's the most important part. We're starting to get 9mm, so we can start to use uh, nine, uh, 6 speed 6, which is really, really good. Much better than the 32 ACP pistols, because they don't do that much of headshot damage. energy drink because I want to have that stimulated status effect. So stimulated gives you uh, movement speed, aim speed and attack speed. Uh, I feel like this is more important for when you do melee because the attack speed helps you out, you know, smacking the zombies faster. <laughs> Unfortunately, I missed. Ah. But that's fine. We can always use our uh, antiseptic spray at this point. And we're keeping the burns kit, bandages, and antibiotics for emergency debuffs. So before I enter a bus room, I usually like to clear out the buildings. If you are playing with a party, I think most of them are skipping this. They don't care about the looting the buildings, they only care about killing the boss, get the loot from the boss. Uh, so make sure to not be a little bit behind like everyone else is like rushing all the time. Free XP there. Usually this won't happen at the late game, I, at least I haven't gotten it on my main character. Like, I feel like they kind of stop. Fifteen shells, and we're gonna go with a cross uh, with a crowbar, and that's because I wanna get that sneak attack in or surprise attack. So we're going. It's gonna start to run. There's a way to glitch the boss sort of, so if he wants to run and zombies are blocking him, he's gonna be uh, stopping. Because he's like colliding into the... in the bodies. So 
So we should have one more shotgun show to the face. Uh, we would get the uh, kill because we got the surprise attack on him. No. So I guess I missed a few pellets. I don't know. Or maybe this one is a little bit higher or has more health because it's a fat zombie. But that's perfectly enough for one clip size, which is really, really nice. Can I kill the worms? I could clear them out. For XP. Pretty decent XP actually. Oh, more zombies. So roughly six sh shotgun shells and one sneak attack. Uh, so that's about seven shotgun shells, I would assume, in total to kill the fat zombie. Um, at level five. Or fat zombie boss, as we speak of. If it's the female one, they usually have uh, lower health, I believe. So they would usually die after two shotgun shells to the face after a sneak attack so roughly three shotgun shells to the face would be enough but we are getting plenty of uh, XP here uh, if this goes well I think we might level up once at least uh, from uh, Cooper Town with all the buildings that I had to do 11 buildings so if you think about 100 XP per building that's 1.1k. We're getting close to it, and we're killing some zombies on the way as well. Uh, so we're full on inventory. Uh, that's a shame. Um, so I'm gonna use up my food, and then um, fuel needs to be spent on the car. And we're also clearing out the buildings, each building. Uh, of bosses because it's free loot, free money, uh, free uh, s stuff that you can get. Get the mail, free mail. So the mail usually has more health, obviously. Not that I'm trying to be sexist or anything, but the game is for some reason the game decided to have female zombies having less health. Um, yeah. So we're starting to find 12 gauge shotgun, we're gonna need to save these for uh, our main character, or for this character if we plan on continuing with shotgun. And all of those are like level 10 plus. 10 to 15. Not sure how the vomit is there, but. So that's the hitbox of the dead zombie that I kept hitting. Something I wish they could fix, because. You're expecting to uh, kill worms or whatever, but suddenly you're hitting the dead body that's already dead. And keep it, it keeps getting flinched, uh, like the body keeps getting flinched, etc. And takes a little bit longer to despawn as well, I think. But um, we did get some hits on us. We're gonna use a burns kit here. Not much fire zombie, as we said. We're gonna grab that water instead. Because we're gonna be needing some food and water during the uh, bus runs. 
or the daily runs that we usually do. Male character, and then female takes two hits. And finish off the zombie. Getting fuel. Hmm. I'm really tempted to uh, sacrifice some stuff for fuel at the moment. Coffee granules. Uh, let's see. Hmm. No, I think we're fine. Uh, I do think I uh, took a lot of bullets with me f for a little bit unnecessarily because I feel like with shotgun we should be enough for at least a couple of buildings. Wine, don't need, thank god. So the only thing that we wasted here is one fuel. Uh, so that's not too bad. But we are gonna need to store some stuff in the vehicle. As we're continuing on with um, the remaining zones. Or remaining buildings. Games start to get a little bit laggy there. Right, so let's put back some bullets because we won't be needing that much. We're gonna store the shotgun shells that we're not using, we're gonna store the pistol rounds we're not using, and we're also gonna store the fuel and then. Refuel the car. We do have a lot of healing items with us, and we're not taking much of damage uh, from this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually store all my healing items that I don't need because we're always gonna be finding some more. And so what we will do now is we're gonna place them in, save one healing item which is the highest one for now and then we should be fine with this setup 11 slots right. let's see lost 8 health but that's fine as long as we're not being debuffed I'm fine with it we are gonna use up all our shotgun shells here hopefully did we finish two buildings? Yes, we did. So we're gonna go to the third building. Getting quest item here as well. Credit card. Nice. If only I could take money out from that credit card, but... That's not gonna happen. We have a worm. Making sure there's no extra dead zombies on the floor. 12 gauge shot. So that's good for later on, the 12 gauge. But uh, I'm not gonna use that right now. We do need 20 gauge shotgun shells. Kill that zombie. Kill the idol skin. Kill the fake one. This is the most important part when you're doing everything solo. You do want to have the sneak for the uh, fast kill. I mean, it might feel slow when you're crawling all the way or sneaking all the way to the zombie, but it's definitely worth it when you're exploring or opening up or entering a new door. We got a superior GLR. That's a bit too late to get that weapon right now. I could pick it up for uh, 48 bucks, I believe. But uh, it's a bit too late. Well, maybe it was 20 bucks, I don't really have the numbers in my head. Right, that one 
one is uh, that one is faking because he's clipping through the wall. And we got the big key. So if you're lucky enough, there aren't many doors available in these uh, houses. And all you need to do is just get the key and, and go to the second floor. So that was fake zombie there. And this floor has three doors, one boss and two side doors. So we got more medics or medications so we can heal ourselves up in case we get hit by the boss. So that's lucky that we didn't have them with us. You know, never be afraid of not bringing any meds with you because you're always going to find if you lose. But if you're boss rushing, obviously have meds with you for emergency. There's a fake zombie here. I'm trying to be dirty here doing the 69. Wow. Zombie behind. Get the other key. Might as well finish this one off with the XP. Right, boss time. So we have nine shells, and as we've seen before, it was enough to kill the boss. Uh, right, you already saw me. So we're gonna have to kill the female zombie, because she's a sprinter. Oh, this is bad. Oh, so that's also something you want to avoid, having zombies blocking your path. Uh, so you don't have to kill a few. Female first, because she's sprinting. Unfortunately, we did have a lot of fast zombies in this house. As long as we have one remaining, we should be fine. I'm really happy that this boss doesn't have... Let's see. I'm glad this boss doesn't have... Uh, vomit yet. Need to reload. I couldn't see because of that <laughs> notification or message. So I have three more shells. Hopefully we can kill those. One, two. Come on. Three. It's dead. No, it's not dead. Oh crap. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna make it do that, equip the scout, run. <laughs> I won't have my crowbar with me but I do have now my secondary weapon because I was running low on ammo. And it's like... And now we'll equip the crowbar back. Finish. The zombies off. Right. Can I have to answer that message before I forget? Right. 
Oh, let's see. Ya. Let's see, we did take some damage there, which I was aware of. We can heal up to full using the antibiotics on the painkiller. So we are still having the tra travel first aid kit for emergency. We are going to need to use the uh, orange juice soon. Um, and we got a beanie hat, which isn't too bad. So now we won't be able to use any shotgun. But that's all good. Uh, shotgun is obviously gonna be uh, for clutch moments. But we uh, need to kill um, level 10 zombies. So right now I don't mind using my 556 five, bullets. Uh, with the 556 five, bullets I can just sh snipe and kill um, the level 5 zombies. Obviously, it's much better if I go with a shotgun uh, because they cost less. So I can make profit if I sell. One on the right, so it's not bad. Now we finish off the other one. Let's see, burns kids, nice. All those zombies want that booty, I noticed. Crawling for that. I mean, I feel like the only disadvantage right now that I have is I don't have extra... Um, the only yeah, disadvantage I don't have is the extra inventory slots. That's the only thing I can think of. Um, everything else is like, you know, extra, some few extra stats, but it's not that important. We've got the... Uh, we got this. You'll die out there. There's one searchable. Antiseptic. Very good. So we're already. We're already getting all our items or healing items back for the next battle, which is good. But we are losing out on the bullets. Really hoping for uh, some bullets. I'm gonna get the big one first. So, there was one glitching here. We still hear some zombies still alive. It's fine, it's this one. Dead. Nine nine bullets. So that's for a pistol. Uh, gonna eat some. Uh, we still have peanut butter, water, and orange juice. So why I'm saving the water is also because of, in case we find an NPC that asks for water, then. We can obviously trade it in for XP and um, money, obviously. Don't mind the hits. It's 
will work out. Believe me. So the we got hit three times, I believe. Yeah, roughly three times. But that means we can use up our burn kit right now and be on 95. But um, I did not want to deal with the fat zombie hitting it multiple times. I didn't mind taking a hit there. I still need to clear out my inventory space from all the healing items that I have as well. So now that we got the gold kit, uh, gold key, we're gonna enter. We're gonna be starting to use the rifle instead. No more bullets or no more shells. I believe the boss already noticed me. So that was a bit bad from my side. Kinda knew that the boss was up already, but I was a little bit greedy with the melee. So we're bleeding now, so that's a good sign that we're gonna need the uh, bandage very soon. Female zombies running. Didn't miss one bullet, which is a bit bad, but um, it's all good. In the long end, as long as we did not die. Oh. So this time we are on 31, about to die. This is where we actually need to use up all our items. Uh, that was a sloppy run of me. Got a rare baseball bat, so if we never got a crowbar, we could have used the baseball bat. But uh, yeah, that's gonna be sold for money. We are gonna need to use uh, bandages uh, ASAP because we're bleeding out. So at this point, whenever I start to have like debuffs on me. I would go back to town, uh, oh, town. I would go back to police department in Dalbo. And the reason for that is to uh, sell all the items that I've had and restock on stuff. Uh, I also need to... Uh, don't, I really don't want to die because if I die then I'll lose all the XP, 50% of it, so that's 1k XP. I haven't gone back to the Dalbo police department or any outpost, so if, if I die around this time then yeah, I'll lose out on a lot of XP. So make sure to always go back to your outpost whenever you've done a lot of things to make sure that you're saving up your XP. I did have a bandage here. So that stored me up. I don't really need to go back, considering that I do have a lot of extra healing items with me. But I am gonna bring back the uh, items that I need to sell. And make some inventory space, because my car is at the moment very full. As you can see, we still have plenty of extra items for our run. i obviously saving this because I don't have any other way to uh, deposit it. Um, I might do this then. I'm gonna drink a water, bring it with me and put it in the stash. At this point I wouldn't have drink, drank the uh, water, I would have saved up until I was at the 
done all the my you know all my stuff at the police department, and then I'll drink the orange juice instead to fill up myself to top. Yeah, for now enjoy the jiggles of the booty while I'm doing all the, I guess, maintenance stuff, get to sell stuff, store stuff, etc. And then we're gonna head back to the level 5 zone, or the last level 5 zone. It did take me roughly, I've been recording now for 51 minutes, so it's gonna take about 2 hours, 1 hour, 2 hour ish, 1 and a half maybe. So we're saving all the uh, quest items. And keep in mind, if you have a second character, uh, you can c turn, like, take all the quest items and give it to the main character where you want to get your all your XP by turning them in to the NPC. That's a good way of dealing with that. Uh, Elite Joggers is going to be in the stash. So that's... Uh, something I want to save. The rest is shit. And we're gonna sell them. Obviously not the shotgun and speed 6. Everything else. You're gonna die up there. Seasod. Let's sell it for 200. Maybe someone will buy it for 200. And we're gonna sell so the baseball bat, it's a level 4 weapon, uh, gonna scrap it, Satori, scrap it, wrench, we're scrapping that, baseball hat, scrap, just making fast money now, because I know most of these things won't sell for our shit at the uh, low level. A speed 6, Washington, Shotgun, Scout, Crowbar. That's all we need. And uh, we got all the ammo with us in case shit happens. And yeah, we're gonna fight them with us. Yeah. Time to go to level 5 zone. And I probably went to the wrong door. Yeah. If I'm really lazy, I would relog here so I could go back to my car. But since we're doing a full video of doing all the level five zones, um, I'm gonna avoid doing that. So you have more time with the booty. <laughs> nah, I just feel like it's it's just a waste of time running at the moment, but. I do not want to condone people to, um, you know, be cheap and ignore the walking part. It is somewhat uh, an abuse to, you know, just log out and log back in to get to back to your car. Let's see, do we have enough? Yes, we have enough. So my car is quite far away from the buildings and uh, I do not want to... Uh, walk all the way sometimes so might make it so that I'll enter a new lobby uh, just so that I can um, get my car closer which is on the opposite side of the street that's the only way I would think about you know using that method we did get a lot of 12 gauge never mind so I mixed up getting a 20 gauge and 12 gauge earlier. Should have stored that one, but uh, we, we are doing fine. So this is the Dalbo Avenue missing necklace. That's what we have. We're gonna go back here and turn it in later. Um, 
we do need rustic key, so we have only two buildings or two rooms. Food, kill the zombie. A bit laggy, I think. Uh, might be something with the servers. Zombie hasn't noticed us. And it didn't notice us now. Thankfully, it's not that close. So we'll just run away. We're getting lots of food now. So, tin dog food, candy. Pasta. Oh, very nice. We are actually getting a uh, level up. From this, well, at least what it looks like. Um, we have about four more buildings to go through, but that's only from level five to six. So, to get level ten, we're probably gonna have to do a little bit more. Uh, yeah, I think this should be enough. Did not get the uh, sneak attack in, but we should be able to shoot her down. She's not a sprinter, so that's good. That one is usually the easiest one, that uh, bloody female zombie boss. love the uh, counter of the table there because you have the uh, perfect spot to avoid attacks. Just gotta avoid or make sure that you see the zombies on the floor. And that it gets a little bit bumpy standing on top of the zombie. So four bullets and one melee swing on the zombie here. The trouser was probably really good. Jog speed, ah, uh, it's decent. And there's one more round. Five five six, which means we're gonna be able to fight longer in this setup. No need to switch weapon that often. We are, however, using up expensive bullets uh, because five five six is one of the ex most expensive bullets that you can purchase in game at the moment. And seven six two is also something that uh, will cost lots. 762, 556, and then we have. Uh, I think the Magnum costs quite a lot as well. So, clear two, we got three more, four more. Yeah. Chop us, girl. And for today, we have a quest here, so that's gonna be even more XP for us. Uh, I did forget to bring the necklace with me to have to see. 
that's my bad. Okay, I killed both. Took six damage. And obviously if you have gear with reduced incoming damage then you would take roughly three damage, I believe. Oh, there's a sprinter right behind me. That's the brooch that we need for uh, the quest. We're getting a lot of food, but not enough drinks. So this might be a little bit annoying. This is probably the key, hopefully. No, damage cover. DOD memo, so that's a quest item also. We're getting lots of quest items today. And uh, I did not plan on doing quests at all, or yeah, uh, any mission at all. Let's see. Coffee, I'm gonna use that one up. Get that extra speed. Pretty simple, like you just do this every day if you have enough time. Kill all the bosses in level 1 and 5 zone, and then if you really dare, then go for level 10 zone as well. Okay, I think we got most of the zombies on the floor. for now. Fingerless glove, very nice. Aim speed, really good. We got the really good uh, glove there for um, boss in general. We are however finishing all the zombies off. If we do that, we get the XP and we're already crawling, so not much of a harm or dangerous um, enemies at all. Scribble note, that means it's a quest light or something we can read. Take that. DOD memo as well. Oh, so there are actually books. No mind. I'm getting a lot of uh, books on my alt, apparently. Never really gotten them at all when I do my runs on, uh, on my main. Maybe it's because I have more find something else, like I'm finding more weapons than the notes. 
so that might be the cause. We're gonna use one orange juice right now, and that's fine by me. I just needed to get some more inventory space. Game starts to stutter a bit for me. Means a sign that I've been recording for a bit too long, I suppose. I don't know. Yeah, also might be something with the server as well, because I'm joining the MMO server and not the uh, lobby. Um, but when it has the MMO server, it's like people join and leave all the time. It might be frustrating. And I don't really know where the servers are located, at, except for them tagging it as you know, Western EU. And that's about it. Get some fuel for a corner. Baseball hands. Hmm. We got hit once, but it should be fine. She actually noticed me over there. That's interesting. Two shots to the head, one melee. Three, four, dead. We got our level up. A bit odd though that uh, she noticed me attacking, even though she had her back turned around. So we lost 14 health in total, which is fine. Um, we're gonna spend it now on. Let's see. Yeah, we did level up, so we didn't really lose much, and then we lost health when she attacked us while we leveled up. Um, we're gonna go with uh, either marksman for faster aiming, or we can go for walk speed and reload. And I feel like the reload part is pretty good right now. And the reason for that is we're gonna be reloading no matter what. And marksman is only gonna help us when it's. Uh... Oh no! Is the game crashing on me? Yeah. Um. Yeah. I mean, marksman is only good when I'm sh aiming and shooting, but other than that, it's like, yeah. But it seems like the game crashed, and there's not much I can do. But uh, I guess that covers up for the uh, level five zone video. Obviously, I'm just gonna continue doing all the remaining buildings. It's in the same building, except it's you know 
one one door side on each side of the building so yeah anyways thank you very much for watching and uh, the next video is probably gonna be when i'm reaching level 10 so it's gonna take a while and that's gonna be me being level yeah roughly level 5 10 when i'm doing the level 10 zones